What do you carry in your day bag on your travels? Do you want to know what you should be carrying with you? In this video, I'm going to share with you five things that you should take with you each day on your trip while walking around in those new cities. Now, when we go out traveling, you want to be exploring a new city day to day with as light a bag as possible. Now, I had to learn this many times over because I just like to stuff stuff into my bag and or I just take too big of a bag that I can actually put more stuff in there. Now, this causes just you becoming sweaty because you're walking around everywhere with a heavy bag or it just becomes annoying and tiring and just you just want to go home because you're sick and tired of t carrying around a heavy bag. Now, when you are carrying a bag, try and get one as small as possible and sometimes, and you definitely want it to have a zipper close. Now for the things inside, these are five things that I always carry with me uh, because they are super convenient. Now the first one is your cell phone. I always have it charged the night before so it's ready to go in the morning and I have that with me because I use it a lot for Google Maps, you know, finding different areas and a lot of other travel apps. Now the next thing you want to carry is a power bank. Now I carry two power banks. I uh, only carry one a day, but I have a backup that I charge the night before. Now you can use a small one here or a little bit bigger one. I would really recommend you go with this brand called Anchor, A-N-K-E-R. Now not all power banks are made the same. So you want to make sure you get one that is really good because sometimes they take a really long time to charge back up or it just creates your charging to your phone really, really slow. So you want to make sure you have one with fast speeds. And you also want to make sure you know what size and how many charges it charges up your phone for. So this small one here will charge my phone up once. This one here will charge my phone up about three and a half times. So if you're traveling with other people, uh, a few of you can use this one to charge your phone throughout the day. Along with that power bank, you also want to be carrying your phone charging cord. So you want to make sure that you have all that put together so that you can find it easily in one spot. Now, the next thing you want to have is your wallet. Now, when you are traveling, you want to make sure that you're not traveling with a giant wallet like this. Uh, this is one I use at home all the time, but when I go out traveling, I get a cheapo little wallet, make it nice and small. This way you're not going to be carrying a whole lot of stuff in there. You want to make sure that you're only carrying enough money that you're willing to uh, possibly have stolen and how much you think you're going to need for the day. Also remove all of your cards that you're never going to use while you're traveling. So you're only carrying uh, a debit card and a credit card uh, plus a piece of photo ID. So you want to make sure you have those things included in your wallet. Now guys, if you uh, are obviously you're going to carry a wallet, but if you're insisting on carrying your wallet still in your back pocket, I highly recommend that you grab an elastic, get one thicker than this, but you want to make sure that you put the elastic around your wallet, have a thick elastic. This way it just is harder for pickpocketers to pull that out of your back pocket. So it's just a little deterrent um, that could help you feel them pulling that out of your pocket. But uh, just a little tip in case you just want to continue uh, wearing that in your back pocket because I know a lot of guys don't like carrying it in the front pocket. Uh, the next thing I always carry with me is a scarf. Um, now most times this is mostly for women but just a cotton scarf uh, long enough and I use this for multiple things. So sometimes I use it if I go into um, certain churches or religious um, places that require shoulder coverings or head coverings that I am either not wearing that day, maybe I have a tank top on, uh, so I can easily cover my shoulders. I also carry this, <clears throat> I tie it around the strap of my bag if I'm carrying a purse. That way I can hide the bag a little bit more and I tie it right where the zipper is so it's harder for thieves to go in and uh, unzip my bag. 
Another thing that I also do with this is if I'm carrying my big camera with me, I always carry it on my shoulder and then I tie this around the strap of my camera and then I kind of fan it around my camera. So it kind of hides my camera a little bit more as well. And lastly, I always carry the address of my accommodations. So just in case I get lost or I just want to go um, back home for the afternoon, I have a place or I have a place I'm able to show a taxi driver or plug it into uber super easy especially if it's not like a hotel name and it's just like say an Airbnb and you just have an address you're able to plug that in very easily or just show the card to someone and they'll be able to take you there quickly now there is one other thing that I do I know this is number six but uh, there is two little things that I carry with me, just a little first aid. I carry a couple headache tablets and a couple band-aids just in case you get a headache during the day or you get a blister. You're not searching out for a pharmacy um, to find these items. So you can just have those in your bag with you. So I hope these give you a few little things that you should be carrying with you and you do use them because they are all super useful and easily to carry around very lightly. So if you have any questions about this, please feel free to reach out to me or you can pop your questions down in the comments below. I'd love to answer them for you. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you later. Okay, bye!